Hello, welcome to the channel. This is the Baron. I'm doing something a little different this time. I just opened these up. I got them in from an eBay order. And we're going to slide two of them to the side. And we're going to pop one open and build it. As always, sort of give myself a second here with the noisy plastic that we can't get past. The Crackle of Doom. Yes, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I like this little poly bag guy. And uh, I think he's pretty old. I missed him. So I had to get him off of eBay. Cheat sheet open. So we can get the building this guy. Alright, one more noisy bag. Just use this to make it a little easier. It even crinkles when you cut it. Alright, I got a piece trying to roll away. There we go. Where is my minifigure? Got some minifigure to put together. I don't really know exactly what minifigure this is. It's like a robot samurai with a blaster. It looks like it just got a green thing here. I think it's just supposed to be the little orange one. Just goes on the front. Boom. Stick that in his hand. And that is our bad guy that is now armed. Now he's armed. All right. There we go. Okay. Got that going. Now we're going to build the little robot thing. Which is the main part of the build here. So we will get this piece here. And then we are going to have a uh, bunch of great pieces. So let's get all these guys on here. Um, one more. As they try to escape. We got that going on. Now the next step is a black piece. This one. It goes across the back. And then we're going to have a gray piece. It's a very weird noise going on outside. I can't tell if that is a locust or a rattlesnake. Very loud, very different. All right, distracted. Oop, drop that, put that there. Now we got that going on. Okay, now we've got this piece here, and it will go like this. And then we have this piece here, and it will go like this. So that's what we've got for that step. The next step is to put the sword tail together, which is going to be these two pieces sliding like that. And then that is going to snap on the back like that. And that's step five. Step six is, it looks like just to put this onto there. That does work like that. And then step seven, I got to do a small build for. Okay. So we get one of these. And we're going to put this over the top of it. Right? Yep. And then we're going to put one of these going out this way. And then we're going to put a white thing here going this way. So that's like that. Then we're going to flip it over and we are going to put, it looks like a black piece, round black piece there, and then one of these claws things to go all the way through it, if that's possible, yep, and it goes all the way through, 
and then it looks like we flip it back and we're going to snap it onto one of these so that is going to be a leg that we're then going to snap onto that so there we go that is the first build for number seven and now it looks like we're going to do another mini build for our next step eight. Okay, we've got this piece here. And we're going to get one of these. And that is going to go like that. And we're going to get one of these. And that is going to go like that. Then it looks like we're going to have a slick piece. Oops, if I can pick it up, that is going to put those two together. Snap on there. And then it's a this piece to go on like that. Okay. And then we're going to have a little one clip looking guy that's going to go like that. And then it looks like we snap on what looks like a blue sword him or sword blade like that. Um, when did I miss it? Well, I didn't miss it. It's at the same time. It's just a, where are we going to put a gold? Yeah, one of the gold circle pieces right there. Okay. And then we are going to snap on one of these to the front of it like that and then it looks like that's going to snap in as a front leg so that will be the front there we go we got half of the belt now we're going over to nine where we're going to build the legs again all right, and we are going to start off with the round thing, and we're going to get one of these, and we're going to put it facing towards us, so snap that on like that, and we're going to get the green sharp looking piece, it's going to go out that way, and then we're going to put one of these over the top of that. So it looks like that. Then we're going to flip it over. We're going to put another one of these black ones on there. It's got a hole in it. And then we're going to put the claw in there to go all the way through. There we go. And then once we do that, we flip it back and we snap in. What do we do on this one? And we snap onto one of these. Oh, so I did that wrong. And snap onto there. And then that snaps in as a back leg. We now have two back legs that are the same. So now for step 10, we're going to make another front leg. This one goes like this and like this. We've got this part that goes like that. All right, we've got this piece that goes whoops, off to the side, if I can hold on to it. That one's giving me problems. That goes off to the side. And we've got the slit piece that goes across here. And then uh, as soon as that snaps on, there we go. Then we've got the little clippy piece, which will clip on like that. This time I'm gonna put the gold Whoop. and I just lost that one. This time I'm going to put the gold piece on. There. And is this different? Has it got a silver on one side and a blue on the other? Oh, no, nope. I see what I did wrong. Okay. 
Now that I'm looking at the diagram here, we'll take this off of there. So the right and the left is supposed to have a silver. And the tail is supposed to be the blue. So I wasn't paying attention to that very well. And we got that on there. And then we snapped another one of these on as the front paw. Then we snapped the whole arm on. Whoops. There we go. So now we got the front legs, back legs. Sort of weird the way this one goes. A lot of problems with the whole way that that's set up. Probably have to come down more with these and out a little bit more with those. Sort of make it balance right. So it looks like he's propped more up on there. All right. Now for number 11, we're going to make the head finally, which is the last piece. So we will do this piece followed by this piece. So these two gray pieces are supposed to snap together. Yep. And then uh, that gives us this piece here. And then a weird looking piece that is it this one? Yeah, this is one. Whoa. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with that going on. All right, so we got those two there. And then that's followed up by one of these. Okay, so that smooths out like that. And, uh, see what we got going on here. All right, I see what they've done there. What I don't see is what they've done. Okay, so they put the two blue. All right, so we put the antenna looking thing goes on the top. There we go. And then we'll set that down. These are gonna go on each side and first we're gonna put a blue inside of it like that and then we're going to snap it onto the side like that and then I guess we can move that sort of at an angle and we'll do the same thing on the other side so those don't exactly go straight they angle down like that that's what it's showing and is that it? That looks like it. And then we snap on our head, get this together, and bam, now we got a head on there. And it looks like that is it, aside from the one Lego piece that I dropped. These look like extras. I did forget to put in, I always do on these little guns, got to put in the firing mechanism. Not sure how this one goes. It looks like that would be right, that it would go that way. Oh, there we go. They only go one way. Let me take this off of there so I don't accidentally fire it off. There we go. So these can only snap in one way, but I always have a hard time finding out which way that is. I think they can only go one way. Yep, there we go. Now he fires. So the gun is operational. The robot is made. We got a few extra pieces. So, which is good because like you saw, I lost one in the process. So there we go. I finally got my minifigure and robot made. So can't wait. I'll make the next one. Uh, tomorrow. So if you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, and all that fun YouTube stuff, and I'll see you next time.